Willkommen, bienvenue, and welcome back to Blast Off with Light. And, well, today we're going to do something at least a little bit different. Because, well, we still haven't been able to find any of these crucible furnaces. I've looked far and wide. But perhaps not far enough or wide enough, because I don't have a good perch. I don't have a nice place in the sky to take my uh, hang glider and go soaring. I mean, I can come up here, I can jump really high, and then go whee! And, oh man. <laughs> so, you need to get a good running start. Ooh. Let's, uh... Swap our Sojourner Sash back on. Warm ourselves up a little. So apparently hypothermia does slow you down even when you're in the uh, hang glider mode. Three, two, one. So we get a good running start, jump, and... Oh, that was weird. Let's try that again. Running stomp, jump, and fly. We don't seem to move very quickly. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I don't seem to be moving very fast. So it might be, might have smart moving interfering with it, but either way, we don't have a good place to jump from. So we're going to make one, but uh, what are we going to build it from? Because we don't want to use ladders to get all the way up there, it takes forever. Um, elevator blocks? I mean, you can make them all pretty now, but they take an ender pearl. We don't have a serious supply of ender pearls. Man, that's so slow. We might be better off running, but I still want to make what I'm going to make today. What do we have a lot of? If you've been looking at my inventory while I go in there, well, you know, we've got a lot of stained clay. Tons of this stuff. But you go, Light, what are you going to do with stained clay? Make a weird staircase to heaven? Well, no. No stairway to heaven for me. Well, not really. So you think about what I'm going to do with that. I have a Botania plan to work out first. So I went into the nether, went to get some mushrooms. It is dangerous in there. Dangerous. So I managed to get a couple of each. Um, the red ones are harder to find than the brown ones, in my instance, in the nether. And it's pretty easy to get my, myself blown up either way. So I would like to have a nice, you know, mushroom farm on the surface. So what we're going to do is take one of these mushrooms, head over to our pool, and you can see it'll turn it into something. Let's take our hat off and see what it'll give us. Boop. Infestation spores. Now if you remember the pasture siege, which we made from grass, We've now got these infestation spores that we made from mushrooms. So I bet you know what they're going to do. Pow! Mycelium. Uh, I made this ring of grass around it because I don't think that mycelium will spread to somewhere that there's already grass. So we can just fill this place in. And Bob's your uncle. Really? Come on, Bob. There we go. It's fairly straightforward. And now, with mycelium, you can plant your mushrooms in any light level. We can come over here, take our little red mushroom, and go... What out! Brown guy. We probably want over here somewhere, so come on, spread. Let's 
let's put him in a comparable place on this side. We don't have any bone meal on us, so let's grab some of that from over here. And now we got ourselves at least one, if not two. Oh, didn't quite get the second giant mushroom. And we've got a skelly farm now, so we don't have to be stingy with our bone meal. There we go. Nice. So now we can just go wee and hop on top and drop a bit of light. Oof. Man, is that... You jump really high, but it makes you not jump very far. How are we doing on that? That is five, so this is probably the way to go. Let's see what bad stuff this gives us. Ah, just nausea three. Nausea three is not so bad. It just makes me a little wobbly. That's right. Even if in F5 mode, you get a little bit wobbly. So, have you figured out what I'm going to do over here just yet? Because it involves not just the uh, the good old stained clay. It also involves this saw. So, to make the math work out properly for this, you need half of it to be in slabs. One, two, three, four. But you do need the rest to be smaller. So you take the rest of these and put them back here. Then you take half of that. One, two, three, four. For that. And then the rest go back in. And then all of these go into covers. Fairly certain the math works out right on that. And what we're going to do... Ooh, first, we take off the MyFit. We do not want the extra speed on this. So you place the half. Uh, you place... Um, oh, right. Because I don't have those buffs anymore, my field of view changed. Okay, so you place the slab, you place the panel, you place a cover. Then, you place a slab and a panel. And that's, then you place a slab and a cover. Uh, I need to back up a little. And then you place just a slab. And then you place just a panel, well, a panel and a cover. And then just a panel. And then the real tricky bit, just a cover. And there we are. First section complete. Now, I have a feeling we're going to have some extra covers because we've used up half of this, half of that, but not half of this. So we'll have some extra covers, which is okay, because we might want to put an extra one on the back. That's not what I meant, but that should work. Because now you take these, uh, we'll save the other half of these for <laughs> the other end, and then you take the next color. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then the rest. And rinse and repeat. Put that in there. Here. And there. Slab. And cover. Just the slab, panel, and cover. Just the panel, just, uh, oh, 
yeah, just the just the panel on that one. Probably should have had my hat on for that. Just the panel and then just the cover. So, this should be... Oh, we probably should have had a solid block at the bottom of the gray level. So this might not go quite as high. Hmm. Yeah, that should be fine. Because we only needed to go pretty high. We don't need to go all the way up to the heavens. So getting seven per level instead of eight isn't a huge loss. But now, whoa, it goes pretty darn quick. And then you can just fall into the water and not be too worried about it. But the goal is to be able to get all the way to the top and use the hang glider and go for a pretty long distance. But unfortunately, the hang glider doesn't seem to move very fast. Now, I'm not particularly familiar with the hang glider mechanics, so you'll have to uh, pardon me on that, but I am very familiar with these mechanics. With the Sojourner Sash, in uh, vanilla Minecraft, this would be called a horse ladder. But with the Sojourner Sash, you are the horse, and you can just dash up this thing with the quickness. And then once you're up here, you can do a bit of sailing. Oh, he seems to be firing at me. Ow. So I'm going to finish building that, and then I will be right back. So. Does blue slime break your fall like water? No time like the present to find out. And... Whee! Swoosh! It does! Good to know. So, I have finished my... Right now it's a diving board. But let's take a nice little jog up there. So we're now at... Let's see, Y of 65, and then we go a one, two, three, four, four seconds or so to get up to Y of 121. That's pretty darn quick. So let's take ourselves a little jump and see how far we can get. So we were at about 980 or so Now this is really slow moving and you can see every now and then a giant chasm exists in my world that just doesn't load quite fast enough So it goes In the amount of time that it took to fly here, I probably could have just run Easily could have walked faster than this it might be good for avoiding mobs that are on the ground but all in all it's not that great a mode of transportation at this point. I mean, it might look cool, but all in all, it's not very fast. I don't really. Um, I don't know if it's smart moving that's doing it, if that's just the way it is, but it doesn't seem all that great. But let's put our MyFit back in. Now that we've got speed two, getting up to the top takes one, two, three, four, eh, about the same four seconds. But we can walk down without taking fall damage thanks to our jump boost. Well, for the most part. So that's, it's a little weird that it still takes just the four seconds with the speed or without. So apparently it's uh, 
reliant on the speed of Sojourner's Sash taking us up that determines whether or not we go faster up or down our nice little diving board here. But it seems, well, let's get ourselves a good view here, get ourselves a few more chunks. Takes a little while for it to load. My machine is not the greatest. But at least we've got a good vantage point. We can take a look around, see what we can see. And I haven't found one of those little gassed ruins that has the crucible furnaces in. So while that loads, let's take a look at the recipe, see if we can just make them. So the crucible furnace, bucket of lava, no problem. Fluid tank takes copper, uh, wood of some sort, and glass of some sort. Not a problem. We've got plenty of copper. We've got a lot of wood. We can make glass. Not a problem. Burnt brick, lava, and bricks. Uh, nether bricks, not hard to come by. So we'll need a bucket of lava for each four bricks. So another bucket of lava for the two crucible furnaces we need. That'll be fine. Uh, okay, so another couple of buckets and some iron bars. We got plenty of iron bars. No worries there. Uh, we should probably take this bucket off our bar. So, eh, not a huge deal. But then we get to these heating components. Silicon carbide. Takes coal, clay, and sand. Which we can get. We've got the hammer. We've got the uh, cobblestone generator, but we need six of these per thing, two for each of those, so that's 12, that's 24 silicon carbide, which is 48 sand, 48 coal, and then the clay as well, which comes from the dust, which requires even more hammering. Um, now you can see we've had a couple of, uh, let me get something that points better, a couple of uh, meteor strike in the general vicinity. Uh, there's a really big one over in that direction, which you can see I've harvested quite a bit of. It's still loading a bit slow, so you can't really see it. Um, but we've got another big one over there, so we're not really hurting for resources. Not really. It's just a matter of taking my hammer to those things and getting some worthwhile resources. So before we get overrun by mobs, Let's take another dip Spoosh. and come back in. Um, the reason I wanted to make the mushrooms, I haven't really looked to see whether or not we have zombie villagers, but I think curing one of them would be really fun. And I noticed I don't have any mushrooms. I don't like not having any mushrooms. They're just too many things they're good for. Because, well, let's take a look. Uh, oops. Show! Show that to me. So we can make mycelium the old-fashioned way by letting things rot. We can make fancy backpacks. Um, but there are all sorts of miso soup options with the fish. So another thing to eat. Mushroom stew. The fermented spider eye, which is used in lots of different uh, offensive type potions. Um, the rune of earth, which we've used but might need more of. Uh, infestation spores, yeah. Uh, nutrient distillation could be fun. And then we're back around to the top. So the primary thing is the Rune of Earth and that uh, nutrient distillation. Ooh, there's fire over there. But I don't like not having them around. So made a nice little place for them. Made a giant thing that goes into the sky. Which, unfortunately, I don't really like the... Uh, the hang glider at this point. I'll try to figure out what's wrong with it, but that will be for another episode. Next time, I will likely do uh, the Tinker's Construct Smeltery, automate the charcoal furnace, and set up some more Botania things such that we can get leveled up in Botania. Or we'll make ourselves a Crucible Furnace. Or I might do that off camera, because that seems a bit grindy. Grindy. But either way, we've done enough for this episode. So I will see you 
in the next episode of Blast Off with Light. Mm-hmm.